everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a little chit chat get ready with me a little small chit chat get ready with me nothing serious um, I'm just gonna be talking to you about Instagram um, a little bit how I shoot my content all that kind of stuff uh, I'm not a great makeup artist so it's definitely not a makeup tutorial it's just this little look that I'm wearing right now nothing too crazy but I wanted to first start off by thanking Annalisa for partnering with me in today's video and I'm so excited to share some of the pieces that they sent to me um, I literally love Annalisa's jewelry. It's so amazing. The starting price is $39.99, which is so amazing for the quality jewelry that you're getting. Um, they sell gold. They sell silver. Gold is so in right now, and I'm just so obsessed. So let me first start off by sharing with you the jewelry pieces I have from them. So first off, I have this gorgeous ring right here. This is called the Rope Bold Ring. Um, it is so beautiful. I just feel like it is just so in right now. Um, I see a lot of people on Instagram having rings like this, and it is just so gorgeous. The next ring I'm going to share with you guys is this super timeless gold ring. It looks like this. This is called the Everly Ring. It is just so beautiful. I just feel like this um, the rope bold ring and this Everly ring complement each other so well and I just love them. The sizing is amazing. For size reference, I am a size 4 on um, this finger and then a size 6 on this finger. Honestly, I could have gotten a size 5 I think and it would have been better but it works really well. I absolutely, this one's my favorite ring. I'm absolutely in love with this ring. Now this ring, it's funny because I am a true Annalisa fan because I had asked my boyfriend to buy me one for Christmas. I really wanted a gold ring um, and I saw Annalisa on Instagram and I was like, oh my gosh, I love their products and it was so funny that now I am working with them on today's video. So this gorgeous bracelet that they also carry is, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced the Rowena bracelet. Looks like this. Oh my gosh, so beautiful and that retails for $75. So like I said, um, Annalisa has amazing jewelry, amazing quality for great prices. Um, I love, love gold jewelry and gold jewelry is just so popular right now. It is so trendy. So if you want a good piece of fine jewelry for a great price, definitely check out Annalisa. I am loving them. I've already gotten compliments. I was getting my nails done the other day and the lady was like, that ring is beautiful. And I was like, Annalisa. So definitely check out Annalisa for these rings and then some beautiful um, bracelets. And they also have necklaces. They have it all. So check them out. I will leave them down below. I will leave the links to these jewelry pieces. And yeah, I hope you guys check out Annalisa. Okay, so I have my makeup behind me. My setup is not ideal, but it should work. I don't have a mirror, so I'm going to be using my view um, the camera and use that as a mirror so let's get started I am ready okay so the first thing I use is I start off with moisturizer I use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost I'm not sure if this is like the best moisturizer there's definitely better ones out there but this is the one I use it never has broken me out or like didn't agree with my skin so I still continue to buy this one um it's actually kind of pricey for a drugstore um Hmm, I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> but um, this is the moisturizer I use. So I actually just self-tanned my face early this morning. So um, I don't know if it looks that tan, but it looks okay. Um, and I'm going to be using this um, foundation. It's not my favorite foundation. Um, it's not like my normal foundation that I use. But it works because it's a little bit of a darker shade. It's just a cover girl clean matte foundation in warm beige it's a little darker I use this like in the summertime so it works like I said before this is not really a makeup tutorial it's just to get ready with me so but yeah I'm going to take some Instagram pictures um that is kind of somewhere further away today because where I usually take my pictures I'm like getting like bad vibes because not bad vibes but like I am not really digging it because 
I've just I'm running out of spots. There's a lot of spots where I go, but um the problem is I feel like it's so much easier to take pictures faster and better when I have my when you have good lighting. Sorry I have to keep looking back. It's just because my makeup brushes are there. Um but, and then, oh, and then I use this Real Techniques little foundation brush, and I just... Anyways, going back to my picture spots, I am... Oh my gosh, I have a huge pimple right there. Um, going back to my pimp, pimple spots. Going back to my picture spots, um, I stopped. I'm going to, like, take a little break from where I usually take pictures because I'm totally running out of spots. There's just, like, one spot that the lighting is bomb. But, like I said, like... I don't want all my pictures in the same in the same spot, so I need it to like travel a little bit. I mean, where I'm going is like North Jersey, so it's like decently far. It's not somewhere like I plan on going like all the time. But we, me and my boyfriend, had like nothing to do today, so we're like, let's just go there and see how it is. It's good to go like. I feel like it's fine to travel like once a month if you want to. Um, next thing I'm gonna take is this Elf concealer. It's like a hydrating one. What I've realized is it is literally so, so cold where I, where I am. Like in Jersey, it's so cold. And it is, it, your pictures come out like so much more faster. I don't think that's like grammatically correct, but so much more like efficient when you have good lighting. It makes like such a difference in taking pictures. And yeah, like when I take pictures in a parking garage, I breeze through them because I don't have to, you know, like be like taking all these poses that make my skin look brighter or like my eye, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if you know what I mean, but it's so much easier to take pictures where um, the lighting's better. It's just so much easier. So, okay, so the next thing I'm going to take is this Lancome dual finish. I've been using this forever now hope it's like not expired but I use this and I just put it on um like my cheeks I put it on and then my forehead and like a little drop on my nose I don't like putting a lot on my nose okay so after that I expected the lighting to be a little better in this video but whatever and then after that I go in with my favorite um with my favorite bronzer, it is the Butter Bronzer. It's like 15 bucks at Ulta, Target, any drugstore. And it is like really, really great. Like I feel like you can pay a lot of money at Sephora for like a $45 or $30 drugstore foundation, drugstore bronzer. And this is just like, it does the job and it's really good. And it smells like summertime. So then again, I take my little Real Techniques, for, this is a blush brush, but I just dab it. it goes a long way this so you can't like go heavy on the bronzer because it goes like a long way so I just put a little bit here this is literally the same routine I do all the time I really want to get into makeup like not get into makeup like I don't want to be like a makeup artist but like I want to learn how to do my makeup like that that looks like a little more um like put together because like when I'm on Instagram or like TikTok or anything and I see like people with like really like nice makeup not like crazy makeup but they do like a wing or like a cooler eyeshadow I feel like it really just makes a picture but like every time I do that I don't really like it I mean I just started putting a little bit of eyeshadow on and I like how that looks so I'll continue doing that okay so the next thing I do is I put this milk blush on it's really nice I just put it on my cheeks I put a lot because like I said, I feel like in pictures you could see it more. So I do put a little more as if I like, if I were not, if I were not to just take pictures or do any of this, I would not do it so bright so much, but because I'm taking pictures, I feel like it looks really good if I do it brighter. So next thing I do is I go in with some lipstick. This is my favorite lipstick. I mean, it's literally not lipstick it's a Burt's Bees tinted lip balm but I love the color it gives me I haven't found anything that give, has given me this color and it just looks so natural so this is what I use it's literally like five bucks and it's like my favorite 
So I use that and then I go in with some lip gloss and then I use this lip tint which is from Bath and Body Works. I got this during the holidays. It's looking a little brighter in on camera but it's not that bright. But I feel like my skin color, I need like a brighter lipstick to enhance like my coloring if that makes sense. I'm not sure. But this is my favorite little duo right now. It, this I've been using for months though. Love that. Then I go in, this is like a terrible order but whatever. Then I go in with this after glow highlighting um this highlight my friend gave this to me a couple months ago and I've been loving it so I just use it with this brush from Morphe it's R36 and then I just put it on my nose pretty put it on my cheeks pretty <laughs> pretty and yeah and I'm yeah I don't you see it there we go we see it we see it we see the glow so yeah okay then I will do my eyebrows and mascara I'm gonna do that off camera because I feel like I just put mascara on this is the mascara duo I use I use you see L'Oreal voluptuous original mascara this stuff is awesome um, it's the best and then I finish it off with this milk makeup Kush mascara looks like this and then I just put this all over my eyes I try to make my eyelashes look really like bright and like pop because I don't do much eyeshadow so I feel like there has to be something to brighten up the eyes um, so that's what I do okay so I just finished up with my mascara and then I'm gonna go in back with this glow highlighting kit and I actually use one of the highlighters for eyeshadow um, I feel like a lot of people do this so I'm not that weird so it's this like orangey tone and I just put this in my whole crease yes this is weird I know I put my eyeshadow I put my mascara on before eyeshadow I'm totally aware that that is weird but like I said this was just a little get ready with me for some insta pics and it is not a makeup tutorial because I sure know that this is weird but I'm gonna do it anyways because I'm gonna do it the way I always do it so put that on very fun then I go in with the gimme brow um, for my eyebrows oh no uh, I lied it's not gimme brow it's a preci um, precisely my brow pencil by benefit so I go in with that oh <gasps> Oh no, I finished it. Oh, darn. So I don't go in with that. Ran out of it. I'll go in with the Benefit Boy Brow. This used to be it, but it has the name scratched off. So then I go in with the Benefit Boy Brow and put it on. I know a lot of people have been very frustrated with Instagram. Myself, um, it's just... They are not showing our content out to the people we want it to be shown to. I see a lot of people complaining about Instagram and I am on it too. Like, it's frustrating. It's very frustrating as a creator, a content creator, when you're out there taking pictures and it's not being seen. Like, that is very frustrating. So, Instagram, I don't know, but I don't see TikTok getting this hate and... Oh, mm, I got eyeshadow on my bed. Oh, it came off. It came off. Okay, cool. Alright, so this is the finished product of my makeup. Do we like it? I think it's good. I think it's great. I do this seriously all the time. It's my favorite little tutorial. So let's do the hair, put my makeup on, I mean put an outfit on, and get ready. Excuse the mess, I just wanted to show my outfit real quick. This white little top is from princess polly i wear this a little too much this um little corduroy jacket is from zara and then my favorite jeans they're like wide leg light denim these are from the website glassens and then i just curled my hair did a little hair clip we know my jewelry and then i'm just going to pair this with my white little platform converse 
So that brings me to the end of this little mini chit chat. Get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will be posting every Tuesday and Friday. So if you like this sort of content, subscribe. I always say this, but follow me on Instagram. I'm on Instagram and I'm on TikTok. So if you guys, like I said, like these type of videos, subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.